all right guys welcome to brovies tv and today we're gonna learn how to mix without knowing nothing about mixing at all and this is a technique i i still use i don't even i don't even i have like good plugins and stuff i don't even use them really because i use this stuff because it's way easier and it's it's faster too and all you're gonna do is basically mix with your eyes if you can see then you'll be able to mix with your eyes and of course your ears but you need your eyes the most and just for starters do not copy this beat because this is an actual beat that I made and yeah so we're gonna get started so this is how you mix without knowing anything so what I did is I just loaded up stock plugins oh and before anybody asks all these are from um, the space guide kit all these sounds and I think some of them are from the flex guide kit which I hasn't I haven't released so just to get that out the way before anybody at, you know asks me so anyway why do I name this open hand this is a hi-hat okay so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna bring down everything well these I don't need bring down everything so just like the last mix of video we're gonna we're not gonna do it the same but we're just gonna follow the volume part of it and get rid of these plugins okay so we're gonna start with the hat so I'm gonna play this real quick and this is what you're gonna want to do first just to find a find a good value probably in the middle you want to look and first you want to make sure it's centered so you see that both of these are you know the same see how it's not now you want to make sure get that as close as possible so I don't have to move this so next thing you want to do you want to go to your EQ and just look and see what you want to boost or take away so I like this you know the way this sounds so I'm gonna just take out the low end like that and on my compressor I don't really need to do too much because it's already level I'm just gonna do 2.5 I always do 2.5 and put the attack on my like drums I put the attack all the way to zero and put the type on hard and then you'll figure that out I'll tell you why I put it on hard and when I get to the snares but See, this isn't moving at all. It's just right here the whole time, so I don't have to do anything to it. So I'm going to just put the gain up a little bit. Try to get it to 15. So, your hat is done. You don't have to do anything to your hat. So, take that away. So, you see, we're just looking here. And making sure everything is straight and it's staying at the same spot so now we're gonna move to our mini snares our background snares now these are gonna be a little bit more tricky but not too not too much bring it up to here and we see it's around 15 just like the hat was and it's level so this is a pretty good snare to start off with start off with. So now I'm just gonna boost stuff that I like. So I want it to be a bit more, you know, boost the high end. Then I'll boost the low end a little bit. Then I just take some of the low end out. Probably go like to steep four. Boost this a little bit. All right, and then the compressor. You don't really have to use that too much right now. Just make sure the attack is zero. Put it on 2.5. I'll probably bring it down just a little bit. Okay, I want it exactly right here. See, it's not moving at all when it, every time it plays. I just might 
and I'm not going to boost this. So, so now your snare is done. So really, what you could do, you could come here to file, save and mix your track state, click and hold it, and drag it over to this snare. See, it's exactly the same. But, but the, um, but you know, it's a different sound. So I have to go on my, my EQ and I have to, you know, mess around in the EQ and make it sound, you know, as close as possible to the original. So I'm going to take the EQ off and see what I need to do to make it sound like the original sound that when I first picked it. So I'm going to play it real quick. Mute this real quick. Okay. Now you see how this is, you know, farther up. That's not a big deal, but I want to try to get as close as possible. So I'm going to try to bring it down really slowly. Let's try two. Okay. So now we're just going to leave it at one. You see in the corner up here, it'll tell you everything you need to know. See, like, it'll tell you how far you're going. So I want it at 1% to the left. If I can get it to move. See, it's level now. now I'm just, you know what I'm saying? The compressor is already on there. So, you know, half the work is done. So now these are playing at the same value. So we can bring these down. So now you snap. Try to bring it at the same level. Now this, I'm gonna try to, you know, make it make it sound a little better. So I'm gonna see what this sounds like if I boost this right here. So I like that. I'm gonna boost some low end too. All right, so now I'm gonna just take out some low end for the bass when I put the bass in there. So now you see it's above this 15. We want it just under the 15. I mean, you can pick any number you want, but for me, I want it right here at the 15. Cause later we're gonna boost everything to be like up by the zero. So attack. At zero, 2.5. You want know, on hard because you want it to hit it because these are hard hitting sounds. Like, you know, it's not a bass, it doesn't have a long tail. I mean, this one does because of reverb, but the initial hit is, you know, it's pretty quick. So, I'm just bring it down till it's just under 15. We don't even need to boost it. All right. So there we go. We got the snap done. So this is how you can just do these simple little things. Now, we're going to move on to the main snares. You want these louder, but we're going to make these at the same. And then you can make it louder later. So same thing. Just gonna boost stuff we like. I want it to be a little bit more, you know, boost the high end a little bit. And I see this big, you know, little, uh, you know, big uh, spectrum right here. So I'm gonna boost that. Take out some low end. Okay, so I like that. So now we wanna, you see, it's a little bit. Let's, we're gonna try moving it, move, panning this to the right a little bit to see if we can get it perfectly matched up. Okay, that looks like that's the closest because it does look like to the left, it's a little bit higher, but we should be good. Now we're gonna compress it which we don't really need to because it's already at the 15. 
So 2.5 about. So now you see it's centered because I compressed it to a certain point. So it doesn't, you know, flow over to one side. So now I'm going to boost it back to 15. That should be good. Wait. Let's see what 1.1 does. Okay, that's good right there. So now, really, we can just do the same thing. Just click and hold that. And again, if you want to do that, you just click on your track. Go up here to uh, the uh, mixer options and go down to file and just click and hold. And you can drag it wherever. And this one by itself. Just drag it over a little bit. And I like that how that is right now. So now we got to just, you know, uh, compress it a little bit. looks about you know centered so we're going to boost it till it gets just under the 15 okay see it's perfectly centered now so that's what you want that's what i mean when you mix by you mix by you know seeing you want to see it, you know, perfectly centered in that 15. So now if you think about it, all your sounds are perfectly at the same volume so far. So this is your, now you're like your percussions and your, you know, your snares and stuff are done. So what we can do is just drag these down. Now your kick and bass is going to be different because they're lower frequencies. So I have these, these on this it's just a bass booster. It just has more, you know, well, not a bass booster, but like, um, what I call it, uh, it just makes it fatter. Basically, it just boosts some bass. I mean, that's, you know, that's what I, I think it does. But I just like it on there. I'm not too technical, but you can get the same sound doing this, and I'll show you how in a minute. So this is what it sounds like with this on. I mean, of course, this plugin right here is going to be better because this is just a stock plugin, but I'm going to teach you how to, you know, get the same effect. So this is what it's going to sound like. If it'll come on. Oh, wait. You see the difference? So my soft clipper, I just, you don't have to put this on, just put it on just to, because my kick is kind of low. So all I did, I just, I actually, I just put it on there and just left it how it was. But you don't have to use this. So I'm going to just leave that off, this off real quick, and I'm going to show you how to get the same effect like this. And then, as you can see, the kick, you know, it's, it's off. So I'm going to try to move it a little bit. First, that's the first thing I'm gonna do, but not too much because I can hear it already. Kind of see, this is good because I can hear it in both ears and it's pretty level. But if you want to be perfect, you can always, you know, see, so always try to get it perfect. But now I'm gonna put the bass on there. See what it does. It 
So now I'm gonna put the compressor on. So I'm gonna put the tech down. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the snares. 2.5. By now you can see what I'm doing, but you're gonna wanna wait till I get to the bass because I gotta show you something. So here we're gonna try to make it level. And with the kicks, we don't have to make them at the 15 because they're lower end, you know, uh, in, not instruments, but lower end uh, drums or whatever. So I'm just trying to get this level. That's all we want right now. See, now it's hitting. See, it actually is hitting at 15, so I did that well. So we can forget about this. I'll just put the bottom. So these are the only ones that you need for stock plugins. So now we put the kick down. Now we're going to do the bass. And after the bass, we'll be pretty much done. Put the bass up. See how the plugins on right now. And some people, some people might like it like this, but you know, mixing wise, you want it to sound good, like on the radio, you know, everywhere. So this is why I do do this mix like this. And I'm gonna take this fast distort off because it's already pretty distorted itself. So right now, I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do because I don't know if you, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me over the bass because it is like you know, a louder, uh, it's a louder instrument or whatever. It's just a loud bass. So what I'm going to do first, well, first I'm going to explain what this is. This is just a bass booster. It just has a higher frequency. You can see it goes to 256. This one only goes to 100, but I'll just show you what they, what they do real quick. So when you EQ your bass, what I do, I take the low end out. And you're probably like, what's the point of a bass? It's supposed to be low end, you know, a low end thing, but I'll show you. So this is what I do first. I just come down here and I just go all the way until I like it. So usually, usually I just... You see this tail right here? I'm trying to match it up to the, until it touches the end. And that's how you can just do it visually without knowing anything. Now, this is where the bass, the bass booster comes in. So I'll show you this one, and then I'll show the stock plugin so you guys who only have stock plugins can, you know, you can get the same effect. So I'm going to play the bass. and Well, actually, here, bring these two up. Here you just gotta listen for the lowest part of the bass. And then you just put this little dot on there. And then I want you to look up here and remember that number. So here. So 41 was the lowest. Was the lowest part of it. So you wanna come here and just jack it to 41. And then this is what will happen. Well, I'll turn it off first so you can hear it. And we're still not done, but I'm just trying to show you this plugin, but I'm not going to use this. I'm going to just do the same thing with this bass boost, but put it at 40, put it at 41 the same and just boost it all the way. Now for time to level it. So here we go.
So I know this is kind of to the to the right a little bit. So I'm gonna try to move it over. So that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna compress it. Now I don't want to attack too much. Here I'll just do a default, so you can just see it from the beginning. So you can just leave this the same. Now I'm gonna go to 2.5 again. trying to get these to be matched up so I'm just keep going So we don't have to worry about the base being at 15 because it's just, it's basically, a, a, the base is basically a, like an instrument. It's not really a drum. So we don't have to worry about, you know, it being perfectly at 15. So we got it level. That's the best, the thing that we want. We got it level just with these three plugins. So now what you can do, you can adjust the base to your liking. So you can move this over until you like it. Now see what I'm saying? And this is just with stock plugins. So the bass is done. Now we just got our, our sound. And this sample is the same as this one. This is just like a faster version of this. So I just put a, I mean, I just did some effects on it, but we're worried about the mixing right now. So I'm gonna take these off right here can load a, just a compressor up that's all we're gonna need really so besides having like reverb and stuff just the mixing getting it right like seeing it I'm gonna play it and then I'm gonna you know pick a point where I want it So I want it right here at 15 the whole time. I don't want it to go above that. So first I'm gonna, you know, take out some stuff I don't want. Now I'm gonna boost things that I like. Okay, so let me make this a um, high pass and see how this sounds. Okay, so now we're good. So now we want to get it back to that 15. So this is the this is the plugin from the um, you know the same preset from the bass. So I gotta. Just what is going on? Okay, I guess FL Studio doesn't want to work, but just come up here, make a new one. Okay, so now what we want to do is get it to 15. All right, FL Studio crashed on me, but um. Now we back, so we're going to try to wrap this up real quick. So, again, we're going to try to get it at the 15, so I'm going to play it. And you can leave this alone if you want to. It's just your preference. But on my sounds, like my actual melody, I like to put this on medium. And I guess I could do that for the bass too, but... I like it how it is. So, keeping it simple, we're just going to do the same exact thing, 2.5, and then we're going to play it and just try to make it even.
it's pretty centered. I just moved this over a little bit to center it some more. Well, I didn't want it to go above 15. It's a, so it's a melody, you know, instrument. So it's not going to be the same as, a, you know, a drum or some, you know, a percussion because percussion is just a hard hitting sound one time for like a short second. But a melody will play over, you know, it has velocity, you know, so the volume would change. So we're going to limit it to 15 and it can move around all it wants to right here. But I don't want it to, you know, be a zero, but we don't have to worry about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna just copy this to this one because it's the same sound. Just a filter on it. So now, now the fun part, we just got to. We're going to play the beat, and then we're just going to put everything, you know, level. And if you want to be really technical, you can just copy the value and paste the value. And then we're going to boost some stuff to our liking. So, you know, whatever you like, how you like the beat. And then now we're just going to play it real quick. So now we got to we got to level it out. So bring this down and bring the bass down cuz those are, you know, the important important elements. So Let's see what the you know the drums sound like real quick. So I like that. It's pretty it sounds pretty clean to me. So now I'm gonna bring up the sound. take some bass out of here too I think that should be enough So maybe these shouldn't clash now. So let's just hear what it sounds like. Okay, I like the way that sounds. So now we got to boost... Here, I'll show you. You see it's only up here. Now we want it to be up here, you know, but not at zero dB because we want to leave some room for the rapper, you know, the rapper to get on the beat or whatever. So here, this is what we're going to do. We're going to load a compressor. I'm going to load this stereo. I think it's a stereo enhancer. Yeah. And this is what all you, this is the only thing you'll need. Stock plugins only. So, what we're going to do is boost it up to here as best as we can. So, what you want to do is, this is at 15. I just double everything, just about. And I put it on soft because this is the whole entire beat. You don't want to distort it now. And I put it to 2.5 again. So, I'm going to turn the stereo enhancer off. And we're going to do the compressor real quick. Well, actually, no, switch that. We'll do the stereo enhancer first because this is just going to make it louder. So here. So now we left room for the compressor. So now we're going to compress it a little bit.
level. Of course, it's not going to be very perfect because this is the whole entire mix and everything is planned. So now we're just going to probably boost it until it gets somewhere around here. your mix is pretty much done if you want to get rid of the red stuff i don't really care for it but if you do you can just you can turn you can turn this well actually here the easiest way to do it turn the compressor down until it's green so here i'll just show you <laughs> If you, but this is just a quick way to do it so if you want to be perfect and you know just make sure you know everything is perfectly green you have to go in and just move stuff but i like the way it is i like the way it sounds so that's just how you do a quick mix if you don't know anything about mixing that's how you can mix your beat to the point where if an artist hears your beat he won't complain about the mixing at all so i hope this helped you out even a little bit even if it helped you out, you didn't know how to mix a kick. Even if that helped you out, um, I'm glad I can help you out. So, you know, and I'll leave, I think I'll, I'll just leave these uh, these presets, these presets in a, in a download or something. But make sure you actually practice this because you can't get better at mixing without, you know, without practicing. But like, comment, subscribe, you know, uh, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what else you want to know about. And um, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks.